Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am sharing the most, most requested video for this channel and that is my updated skincare routine. For all of those who are new here would not know that I suffered from severe cystic acne when I started my YouTube channel. My skin was really, really bad. It was in a bad state and so many of those people who have been subscribed to me from day one, thank you for that. Uh, always keep asking what have I done that all my pimples have like totally gone away. So I wouldn't really say that this routine is the reason why my acne has disappeared. I had a hormonal cystic acne and I have been taking medications for it since 3 years. I was on a break from those medications when I started my YouTube channel and I got a rebound of all of those acne. So that's why I know for a fact that my problem like my acne problem is hormonal and there is nothing in this world that I can apply on top which will cure it. I have a totally separate video about that acne and about cystic acne and all of that. I will leave the link to that video in the description section and a link to my playlist for skincare in the description section. Before starting this video, I want to say that I'm oily, acne prone skin. So any of the dry skin girls might not be able to relate to this video because a lot of uh, my products are to control my sebum secretion. But my oily skin girls, you're gonna love this. So let's dive into the first product that I use, which is probably a staple in everybody's vanity and that's a face wash. And for face wash, I use the Himalaya Purifying Neem face wash. I have been using this since I was born, I feel mean. like I've only, only used this face wash all my life. I have switched it up a bit in between, but every single time I leave this face wash, I regret it. Just recently, I started using the Clean and Clear Foaming Face Wash and I got a zit immediately, like within two days of using the face wash. So I don't like to change my face wash at any cost. This is a very gentle face wash. It has neem in it so it prevents pimples. Even if you have pimples, it takes care of them without like uh, like making them burst or bleed. Like I had the pus filled pimples. So when I had pimples also this face wash was my holy grail. Now when I have clearer skin also this face wash is my holy grail. I totally love how it does not strip off a layer of your skin leaving it very dry or crazy for nutrition it's very gentle but it also does the job just right it takes off all your excess makeup if you have all the dirt all the gunk and keeps your skin hydrated at the same time so that's why I absolutely love it even though we are oily skin girls it does not mean that you want to take away the natural oils of your skin it just means that you want to keep their secretion in control because anytime that the secretion goes in excess it becomes super oily and therefore a good nutrient for acne production and if it's super dry then it gets very crackly and starts peeling off so you want to keep that oil balance of your skin very much in level and that's what my skincare routine does for me so the next step i want to talk about is a product that many people tend to ignore in their skincare routine and that's a toner even i did ignore toner for the longest time in my skincare routine but now that i've started to use it i've realized that it does really really make the world of a difference to your skin basically what a toner is supposed to do is maintain the ph level of your skin ph is the level of acid base balance on your skin so the toner that i have absolutely absolutely been loving since the day I got my hands on it is a toner very well raved off for the right reasons this is the pixie skin treats glow tonic and this is the one with 5% glycolic acid I love this for like multiple reasons let me start with the first thing being that because this is an exfoliating toner I don't really need to go with an exfoliant separately now since I live such a busy life of doing YouTube and college I don't really get time to take care of my skin that much I just get that 5 minutes at night to apply something and go off to sleep and if I want to maintain my skin in that 5 minutes this is the product that does it for me just taking it on a cotton pad and swiping it across my face make sure that all the dead skin and all the gunk of that day has come off I can literally see it on the cotton pad and later my skin feels so soft so supple there is literally no sign of dead skin on my face if you let that dead skin sit on your skin and don't like take any effort to exfoliate it that dead skin will keep accumulating you lose that natural glow and shine that your skin has and every time even when you apply makeup your makeup will tend to crack or crease and not sink well into your skin and look nice 
that's why I like this toner because without me having to go into a physical exfoliant and do a scrub and a mask, this just does it for me. Literally on an ordinary day basis, this is a life saviour. Even for this zit, it's helped me so much to help shrink it without being painful or without me having that fidgety need to like pluck it off. Since it has glycolic acid which is a AHA, it's an alpha hydroxy acid, it helps you with brighter skin, glowing skin and I have felt the change as the time has gone by. Been almost two months, like you can see how much I've used, like it's half the bottle right now. So I absolutely recommend this, it's already available in India at Sephora, I will leave links to all of this in the description section. So if you are looking for a good toner, this one is something you should definitely try. So the next product in my skincare routine is my serum and this is a serum I literally have a dedicated video on YouTube for this serum. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Solution. This is the serum that changed my life. This is the skincare product that changed my life for the better. It's been two years and I still absolutely vouch by it. I do not recommend using it in excess but I also do recommend using it 100%. Many people tend to ask me that we don't have the body shop tea tree, May can we use another brand's tea tree oil? Let me tell you that this is not tea tree oil, it's tea tree serum, it's a solution, it's much more diluted than a concentrated tea tree oil would be. A concentrated tea tree oil is like a spot treatment. If I have this acne, I just take a little bit and apply it on the acne. This is supposed to be applied all over the skin, just like two drops is enough. You massage it all over your skin. I have legit seen a difference in my skin after using this drastically and that's all in the video. I will leave in the description section. It's the most viewed video on my channel and it actually changed my skin for the better. I had a lot of red and uh, black and hyperpigmented scarring after my cystic acne and this took care of literally all of it. It has tea tree oil in it which helps with brightening so it also helped my hyperpigmentation to a lot of extent. Just like every other girl does, I had a lot of hyperpigmentation around my mouth and this took care even of that and so I do prefer using it even today. I used to use it twice a day during that video, now I use it only once a day and I sometimes use it on an alternate day basis but I still use it. You will see this even in my previous skincare routine video. This product really does not go out of my vanity. I keep purchasing it because I love it that much. So for the final step in my skincare routine, uh, it's a moisturizer. Of course, you need to apply a moisturizer before you go off to bed. And I know many oily skin girls feel like they don't need to apply a moisturizer because their skin is also oily. But then again, like I mentioned, you have to maintain your oil secretion and if you apply an external oil, your skin feels nourished, your body will not secrete that much oil from within. So you get the logic, that's the reason you need to apply a moisturizer. But I do not prefer cream moisturizers at all. Anything which has a creamy consistency or a creamy base to it, I stay away from it. So I like to apply a gel moisturizer and two gel moisturizers I highly recommend. One is the Sebamel Clear Face Care Gel and the other one is the Phenomenal Gel by Pixie Beauty. Now this one's a little on the more expensive side, this was sent to me in PR and this is more on the affordable side. This I have purchased multiple times by myself. Both of these have a lot of things in common, they are gel based, they both have hyaluronic acid in it and both are neutralizing moisturizers once again to balance the pH level of your skin. The Pixie one is a little more thicker in consistency and the Sebamed one is a little more thinner in consistency. So on my days where I've applied the tea tree oil serum, which is a very lightweight serum, I prefer the phenomenal gel to nicely hydrate, moisturize and leave that little tackiness to my skin. Uh, but on the days that I've applied the Pixi uh, Glow Tonic, which is very rarely I apply the Pixi Glow Tonic on my very very dull and dry days, then I prefer the Sebamed one because it's a lightweight moisturizer. In no way do I miss any of these four steps of skincare. I wash my face every night, I apply a toner, I apply a serum and I apply a moisturizer. I do this religiously every single day. With a skincare routine, you need to know that it's like your religion. You have to follow it rigorously every single day. Doing that will benefit you way more than getting that one single clean up before a wedding or one single facial before your birthday. This is a lifetime investment. You have to make sure that you're dedicated to your skincare routine. Because if you're not and you just plan to apply that one Haldi Chandan ka face mask on one particular day and have glowing skin the next day, you'll still have dead skin day after tomorrow. So have to take care of that every single day. 
This is what I do. This is my basic, basic skincare routine. Now, on the days I'm feeling a little extra free, a little extra special, or on the days I feel like my skin is leaning a little extra R and R, then I will go in with masking. Now, the masks I prefer the most. I vouch by these two masks, and these two masks used together. This is the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Mask, and this is the Innisfree Color. Judge you will get a color clay mask. This is a brightening variant in that. There are a lot of colors in this. I like to use both of these masks in conjunction. This mask, the exfoliating one, is great to get rid of your blackheads. If you don't like to do the whole painful procedure, which I also hate, absolutely hate, to get rid of your blackheads, applying this mask just in your T zone, uh, on your forehead, like a little bit over here, around your nose. And on your chin, where you have that accumulation of blackheads, keeping it for 10 minutes and then like washing it off while like scrubbing it into your skin, you will see you have gotten rid of all your blackheads. I absolutely love this for that, and it does the job so quickly and without giving me any sort of pain. So you can see how much I've used out of this. It's literally empty. Need to get another one of this. Totally love it. And at the same time, since I'm applying this only in the T zone, to the rest of my skin, like on my cheeks, on my forehead, which is very much darker than my cheeks, my neck, so that everything is in the same balance, I like to apply the Innisfree Brightening Mask. This is a very lightweight mask, great for acne-prone skin because you will have a, a very sensitive and light layer and not a heavy masking job happening. So basically with this mask, I like to apply it on my cheeks, on my forehead, on my neck, base, anywhere where I've not applied the L'Oreal mask. This helps with brightening. It I feel it has a little bit of a turmeric and milk sort of feel like if you would apply Haldi and Dude to your skin. That's how it feels. That's how lightweight it is. It is and I see that brightening effect instantly. Like you can with these two masking combinations, once you wash your skin, you'll literally see the difference within a fraction of a second. You'll see your skin glowing. So on those days where you have to go for a special event or a party or a wedding, you want your skin to look glowing instantly, you can use this masking combo. Since the time I've discovered it, I don't really try to dive into any other masks. Uh, so there's this uh, blog called The Merchant Post. She's my old friend and she has a beauty blog. And she told me that the Innisfree mask, since it comes in so many variants, the Sika one in that is with the green color bottle, is very good for acne and uh, that helps to dry out your acne better. So anybody with active acne could try the Sika mask. So the next product that I want to mention is super special. I discovered it on Instagram. Many people used to rave about it and I wanted to dive into acids and see what they do for your skin. So I purchased the Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution and I have absolutely been loving this. This is a great, great chemical exfoliator. And since the whole trend of physical exfoliators is somewhere wavering off, I wanted to try a chemical exfoliator. They say that physical exfoliators are not really great for your skin because they tend to leave that micro tears in your skin which you can't tell. I got this off her Instagram page called Crimson Lux. She's very trustworthy. This was very affordable on her page. It was somewhere around 625. And uh, she always mostly has this, but you have to like pre-order stuff on her page and she'll get it to you just in time. Uh, just be a little patient because these people tend to order all this from abroad for you. So if you order this from abroad, you'll have to pay the customs and all, but they take care of all of that and you'll just be paying them a certain price. So uh, $6.25 is a great price for this. You don't really get AHA, BHA peeling solutions in India. And Ordinary is a very, very good skincare company abroad. So uh, basically AHA is alpha hydroxy acid and BHA is beta hydroxy acid. So it has 30% AHA and just 2% BHA and it says it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial. All it does if you have to leave it on for 10 minutes, it will tingle a little bit because that acid is acting on your skin and when you wash it off, you can tell the difference immediately. Your skin will feel supple, soft, it will become very very glowy and you can see that dead skin layer totally gone off. So again, this 10 minute facial is way more worth it than going for those one clean up, one facial with a powder. So with that, I complete everything I do for my skincare where uh, the skin is considered on a daily or a weekly basis. The next product I want to mention is my sunscreen because a lot of people tend to ask me what sunscreen I use or recommend. Uh, I recommend and use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. This has SPF 50 in it. Uh, I have tried a lot of sunscreens in the past right from expensive sunscreens like Bioderma 
to very very inexpensive sunscreens i have tried everything and nothing seems to work for me like this one does i have literally four tubes of this me mom sabrina everybody uses this at home uh this has spf 50 so it's great for the scorching hot heat of india uh and it's an ultra light feel so you really don't feel it on the skin it gives you that glow but does not give you that white cast so you can use it under makeup as well so that's why i love it it does not clog my pores that much but it does have some comedogenic ingredient in it so there could be some amount of clogging many people are not suited for spf many people are allergic to spf so if you're that type of person i highly recommend the lactocalamine solution for you my dermatologist always says that like cricketers and people on the field who are always out in the sun use lactocalamine because it's great for your skin gives you the sun protection without clogging your pores so even i keep switching back and forth between lactocalamine and the neutrogena ultra sheer uh, dry touch sunblock i have both of them on my vanity and whenever i'm feeling like i have lot of zits or clogged pores i tend to go with lactocalamine but irrespective of anything make sure that you apply some amount of sun protection on your skin because you won't really come to know right now but those uv rays they can cause premature aging they cause so much hyperpigmentation all of this cannot be taken care of later so prevention is better than cure do that one step of sunscreen in your morning routine and it will help you drastically this completes my updated skincare routine oh my god i'm sweating that's how long this video has been but i'm so glad i finally got this out of my system this is all the products i use guys this is everything that right from face wash to face mask to sunscreen to everything uh, i will leave shopping links to whatever i can find in the description section so whichever product you feel is the need of the hour for you or for your skin type go ahead get it if you think it will work for you and also remember guys skin is very different. different everybody's skin is different what works for you might not work for me and vice versa so if something does not work for you don't come at me because i didn't know your skin type and i can never know your skin type even if you send me pictures on instagram i cannot know your skin type i didn't know my skin type for the longest time so go to a dermatologist if you have some serious serious skin issues that's what i always tell but doing a skin care routine is like a religion make sure whatever you use is little is affordable so that you can keep buying it and it's something you religiously can dedicate your time to so this is just a five step skin care routine which i do in literally 5 minutes so i can dedicate my time to it every single day all the added steps of doing the lip scrub and the masking is very very optional which i do sometimes when i'm very busy even once a month it's not like i do it every sunday or something cuz i film on sundays so i'm super busy even on my sundays so yeah i think i've shared everything with you all i've been talking for so long my head is spinning i'm going to sign off now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to hit the like button if you're new to my channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also on the bell icon right next to it i make videos every sunday and i will see you guys next sunday bye guys love you all